What is going on YouTube? Saga 29 coming at you for the Mauer. Wednesday Hall of Fame edition. Holy crap. I was pretty excited thinking Joe Mauer would be a Hall of Famer. But I never thought it'd be first ballot. Gonna be 100% honest. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The music's all screwed up. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll just ignore that. But uh, a happy Hall of Fame uh, for those that celebrate. Um, really wanted to get this made uh, yesterday, but just didn't work out. Uh, several people reached out and asked because I did have an episode of Crafts and Cards that aired last night. And so several comments uh, included comments about Mauer. And uh, appreciate that. Uh, just a, a, a great human being, you know. And I uh, heard a lot of people dog uh, Joe, uh, which is fine, whatever your choice. You can you can you can make the choice to do that. Uh, but I was listening to local sports talk radio today on the way uh, to school, and I hear uh, they're talking to a, a, a guy from Vegas that does a betting segment every every Wednesday, and. They were talking about how it just doesn't seem like the Hall of Fame, the All-Star Game, the Slam Dunk Contest, um, all these things don't have the the allure or the grandeur that they used to. And my first thought, and I let them kind of ramble as I listened, and, and you know, they're, they're basically blaming it on the fact, the Baseball Hall of Fame, on the fact that um, nobody... Um, Lost my train of thought. Oh, that uh, because the 90s guys, the, the steroid guys aren't in, that it's watered down the Hall of Fame. Because those guys haven't been let in, people don't care. Well, I, I look at it a different way. Um, and this goes with the slam dunk contest, the Pro Bowl. They, they include the Heisman Trophy, which to some extent I agree. Um has, doesn't take on the same meaning, but how over, they, they, they compared it to the 90s, um, so I wanted to go back to that, because in the 90s, there was a lot of people that didn't have cable, you didn't have non-stop, okay, those were huge things, think of how sports have blown up since 95, since McGuire and Sosa, since Bonds in the early 2000s, and what what has blown up around it? The acceptance of all those things. Well, the hall has been one of those things that hasn't really joined into that. And to some degree, I appreciate that. Others, I'm going, you know, how in the hell is Barry Bonds not in the Hall of Fame? Roger Clemens. You know, because Pete Rose, different situation, okay? But it's this whole thing. And it, it, sports is so always in our face now. Where before, when I was growing up, you know, Holy crap, you know, you wanted, you couldn't wait for the slam dunk contest. You couldn't wait for the Hall of Fame induction. No one had an idea on that. There wasn't a Hall of Fame tracker. You know, I had, I went to school yesterday having a really good idea. Joe Mauer was going to be a Hall of Famer, barring something just crazy. Now, if you look at the numbers, it still came really close to happening. Uh, I think he would have made it next year, you know, because he would have been, even with a catastrophic drop off, he was still going to be. 70% or above. Um, so I just, it's the oversaturation, the over stimulation we get from sports these days. You know, uh, it's just kind of a crazy thing. So I wanted to throw that out there, but I don't know what the, you're going to see this. My thumbnail is going to be me sitting here rambling, but that's right. So I got to do this. I saved a beer just for this moment, just in case it happened and. Cheers to you, Joe. Happy Hall of Fame. Mm. The sweet taste of Hall of Fame beer. So, grabbed a few quick cards. We'll get to those next. These are the other Hall of Famers, and I've got more than that. But I just grabbed a couple. But right now, my Mauer collection uh, is in a binder and in this box. Because with the house on the market. It normally sits 
right over there on top of that shelf below the baseball. So there's usually two, three row shelves that sit there, uh, that and then others that are on card stands that sit up there. That uh, showcase, I guess, my my favorite Mowers. Not all of them, because I, I don't know. If I get the new house, there will be a much bigger display area for Mowers. But uh, I'm just going to show a few that aren't in the binder. Uh, this is from 16. This is a box topper. And it is numbered out of 99. It's 18 of 99. So there's that. Holy cow, I'm going to skip this song and see what's going on here. Well, definitely don't want that. Holy cow, this is just crazy. This will work. So uh, we'll go next to a little relic. And this is from 2008 Allen and Ginter with a floral border. It's just plain white, but still one of my, still a relic for the big guy, the Hall of Famer. Uh, here's the first Joe Mauer relic. I think I bought and this is from tier one and I can't read the year but another plain right plain white swatch um, here's a triple relic from oh, what's this from tribute uh, it's a three relic uh, numbered out of 150 at the two end, you can kind of see the blue stripe on that bigger white piece of fabric. And all of a sudden, the Notre Dame fight song's playing, so I don't know what's going on with this playlist, but uh, here's autograph. Uh, God. Etched in time uh, with the autograph on the wood, also numbered there. Um, here's from National Treasures in 2012, the Giant Swatch. And this is numbered out of, I thought it was numbered, maybe it's not. Yep, there's out of 99. 41 out of 99, there's the back. Kits the booklet. We'll put that over there. Then another autograph, this one's from USA Baseball. Upper deck, numbered out of 360. Uh, don't know the year because the print's too small. So there's that. Let's see. Let's get to a couple of these here. Here we have a Topps Diamond Anniversary. Here we have a Fleur Flare. Here's another relic, the gray with the blue pinstripe. Upper deck sweet spot from 07, I believe that says. And here we have a Joe Maurer triple threads numbered out of 625 from 2012. Hey, take a drink. Let's see, here's a Moments autograph out of 50 from November 23rd of 2009. Uh, this was a 2023 tops. Moments, number 33 out of 50. Still tops sealed as you can see. Um, let's see what else do we got here. Go a few more relics. Uh, here we have a uh, franchise history, piece of history. This is from 09, a piece of history baseball. The dark blue patch right in the middle. Uh, here we have a tops card from, I believe, 05. First home run, June 6, 2004. And the other stat that I keep hearing that I just love that I'd really forgotten about is uh, the fact that he brought um, he broke up three hit three no hitters in the ninth inning. 
crazy. Uh, if you have a chance, uh, check out the uh, MLB Network did a, a little video and it's it's illust or illustrated. Jesus. Uh, sound sound from uh, Justin Morneau, who's one of his roommates as a twin. Uh, here we have a refractor from 2016 Topps Chrome. Here we have an acetate card uh, from Clear Cut, or Clear Vision, excuse me, from Pinnacle. And 13, I believe, on that one. See the light in there. Put it over here. Really like that card. That's a fun looking card. Uh, here we have a Topps Tech, I believe, from way too small to see that. We're not going to go through the whole box, I, I promise you. But, uh, here's a card I picked up last year uh, at a show almost exactly a year ago. And it's from Upper Deck when they did the Gaudi set. I want to say 08, 07, 8, 9, somewhere in there. It's got that Gaudi look. Picked that up from a dealer from, I want to say Albert Lee, maybe. But uh, let's see. We'll go a couple more here. We have the Joe Mauer Jackie Robinson Day. Tops in 17. We have a Sepia. Tops Chrome. Here's the base version. It's just another copy of the base version. Oh, right, here we have, what year is this? 14. Base tops, a couple of those, and we have the chrome, and then we have the elite dominators from I believe 14 Panini, and this is numbered 792 out of 999. So that checkerboard back there, love that. As I say, congratulations to uh, all you fans of the Rockies and Adrian Beltre. I'm going to say the Rockies and Adrian Beltre because, well, Beltre played for several teams. So I know several of you are uh, Ken, Ken's Cardboard. Congratulations on Todd Helton. Got a couple of his to show off. We'll start with this uh, Top's Finest Base from 0-2. Then we have a fast track from Circa Thunder. And I'm going to guess, God, I, don't, I can't tell. Kind of a fun card there. A couple of Beltres. You got the 206, 2002, with the Dodgers. And the Diners Elite with the Dodgers as well. And this is an 02 as well and we'll finish it up with a 2019 84 tops relic card when he's with the rangers shout out to mike baseball collector and uh i know eddie eddie's cardboard chaos uh also mariners fan didn't get grab a mariner uh, i realized as i was going through my how i do it with so i've got hall of fame boxes and binders and then I've got uh, star players uh, that I think have a chance to be or if I ever choose to sell would be better than you know, kind of that kind of thing. So uh, I went to digging through those boxes uh, last night and today. And lo and behold, I've only got like 13, uh, only 13 uh, Beltre cards. I've got pushing 100, I think, uh, Helton cards. But... It's like, holy crap, I thought I had more than that. But maybe I just haven't found him yet. Don't know. But uh, definitely looking forward to adding uh, to the Mauer. Several people have, have responded, hey, your Mauer collection just got more expensive to add to. You're right. Uh, but that's okay because I've got a really good start to it. Uh, pushing 470, I think, right now. 450, four, between 450 and 475 is where I'm at with the Mauer collection right now. And uh, certainly look forward to Hall of Fame 
adding to that. So, hope that all goes well where you are. Got a big Cyclone game tonight, playing in K-State, Farmageddon, basketball style. So, uh, till next time, remember, collect what you love, Joe Mauer. Love what you collect. See you later.